What's going on? I'm just trying to read you the latest updates on the bullshit page. Oh, I probably heard. Check this out. I just found this out a minute ago. Tell me if this. Is, tell me if you think this is right. Jeff Lowe has immunity. I don't. Well, what did you hear that? From the U.S. Attorney. Why did they tell you that? Well, I, I fucking told her. You know, I told her. I said, uh, I said, you know, I'm having fucking second thoughts, which I'm not. I'm, you know, I'm whatever. I said, I'm having second thoughts on this because I think this is just after Joe, and I think you know Jeff Lowe and all of them gets a pass. She told me, well, Jeff Lowe has immunity. Okay, but to to what? She has to be more specific. It just can't be for everything. You can't go out and commit murder. No, related to this case. So anything up to to the point, like that that, that animal that's in Los Angeles, he has immunity. Did she say that specifically? She specifically told me he had immunity. Did she specifically tell you regards to the animal in Los Angeles? No, but she told me up until up until this point, he has immunity. He's, he's confessed his crimes. So Has he confessed his crimes. Yeah, in the rule eight or rule eleven hearing. So you got to think. Here's the deal, Jeff Lowe. Jeff Lowe gets a fucking pass. Selling cubs to fucking asshole. Selling the lines out there to dickhead Scott. Shipping animals back and forth from Starks to wherever. This motherfucker can do whatever the fuck he wants, and they're not going to charge him with nothing. Okay, here's the question. The date he gave his deposition, they gave him immunity. Up to that point, after that he committed crimes that he did not tell them about. Uh, right? Well, I don't know what he's... I don't, yeah, I don't know what he's told them or what he's done or what, what. But I'm just telling you, you can just tell us it's a, it's a one-sided witch hunt. And Alan Glover, I mean, I, I kind of knew he was already in jail anyway. And I guess Jeff yeah, Johnson the, broadcasted it. No, uh, uh, Reg Zotto posted it when he was arrested in October, November, and convicted in February. And Lauren Lowe bailed him out for two grand, and her phone number's on there. And then Jeff Johnson makes a makes some comment about, and this is a witness, this is a witch hunt, and blah blah blah. Like he's, he, and he goes, "Go Joe" or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is this is this is expected, all right. But but okay. So can Joe just you know commit any crimes now, or let's you, you can't just give immunity without it being specific as to the date he testified and she said admitted his crimes. Think it through. That day he admitted he did that and he said it on a deposition. If he goes out and commits a crime after that, how could he have immunity? Yeah, but. She basically told me she doesn't foresee any charges against Lowe. Well, it's not Matt, up to her. Ma- no, yeah, it is. She's the one that prosecutes. Matt told no, me. No, no, no. He's got a, hold yeah. on. He's, he's, he's got future crimes coming up that they don't even know about yet. Now, he's listen, to Matt jail. told me yesterday, or, yeah, yesterday when I was at the deal, that there was open investigations into Lowe. Right. The U.S. attorney told me. There is no, there's nothing open there right now. So they're totally lying. They're totally contradicting themselves. And luckily I record them. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to make a whole movie out of this. Did she tell you that over the phone today or at the office? She told me over the phone. I wasn't there today. I was there yesterday. Okay. But Matt told you that in person at the office. Yes. Okay. After you left, they had a discussion. They don't want you talking about him. They don't want you involved for him. And what Matt said is probably true. There's an open investigation. Immunity only goes so far. You, you can't just have blanket immunity unless you're double fucking 07 with a license to kill. All right? He's a dirtbag felon. So think of why she would tell you that today. She's directing you uh, probably not to discuss him, not to talk about him. You're agitated about him. You said something yesterday that makes them think that you want to shit on him, and you do, and he's useful to them right now, so they want you to keep quiet. They don't want you talking about him. 
and, and that's the best way for them to do it. It's all a fucking con job. Do you believe, did you believe Matt when he said that? I don't believe anything Matt says now. Why would Matt even say that to you unless, unless it was true? Like, what, what would he have to gain by lying to you about that? Well, Matt's told me a whole lot of things that never happened, so... Okay, so, you know, like, I, we, we, we're we going to decide Lowe's fate. It's not up to anybody else. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Know yeah. That he, we know he's breaking more laws. It, yeah. It's just mad. Don't, don't be worried about that. Okay, okay, so he has immunity. But when he goes up to testify, where do you think that's going to go? <laughs> yeah, but you got a fucking goddamn hitman in fucking jail and all these fucking charges and appeals and this and that. I mean, that fucking defense is going to rip this shit apart. That's fine. They can do that. Yes, I'm a serial killer, but on this day, I saw this. It's all yeah. relevant. Okay, you, you, know, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I know what yes, you're I'm, a, I'm an alcoholic, I'm a drug addict, but on this day, Joe handed me $3,000 to kill this person. Well, were you drunk and who saw it and who witnessed it? Well, it's documented, is it not? Yeah. Everything that Glover says can be corroborated by, I'm, I'm assuming, videotape and audio tape? Uh, and Glover's in now. Who, who saw him get money from Joe? That's what that's that's the problem. There's nobody. Because they couldn't identi- identify the guy that supposedly handed Joe the money to hand him. So there's nobody. It's just Glover's work. Oh, oh, you weren't there when Glover was doing, no. doing this stuff. I didn't know he was even hiring Glover until Joe till Joe called me and asked me if I knew a place to get a fake ID. Okay, so throw out count one, murder for hire. Fuck, throw out count two. Uh, Jeff Johnson is trying to make like um, Joe's going to walk out because it's all a setup. But look at the paperwork, the documentation, the, the all the stuff that you know about. Yeah, no, I, I agree with all that. But it just fucking Jeff Lowe, though. I mean, that motherfucker coming out of this thing smell like a rose. No, he won't. I think he will, man. I mean, not when we do things to him, but. You know, with the government's point of view, I think he's going to walk out smelling like a fucking rose. Well, he lied in his deposition, and Matt already told you about that. All I want to do is run my little zoo. So after the deposition, he bought and sold cubs and violated the ESA, correct? Yeah. So when he did his deposition, do you think they said, oh, we're going to give you immunity. Go out and buy and sell cubs and... And we'll arrest the people that you're buying and selling them to. Scott was not arrested. Mario's not arrested. The other two people you told about, they're probably not arrested. You have to answer to that, either either civilly with USDA or criminally with the ESA. I mean, it, it just he, if he gave his deposition after he did all that and they didn't know about it, then he's got the opportunity to tell the truth. But he already lied on the deposition and continued to buy and sell. And Matt didn't believe you until you found those people. Yeah, no, I agree. But I just think Matt's fucking worthless fuck now. Well, he's he's a shitty investigator. But uh, uh, okay, Jeff Lowe's not going to get the USDA permit renewed in May. We'll have to have somebody else. Tim Starks isn't going to have one. They'll find someone, but there'll be a lot of holes in it. They're, they're not. They're not okay. They're not walking out of this scot free. It's just going to take a little bit longer. Yeah, I, just, I don't think there's any target towards Lowe right now. Well, I think they're just. I think the whole target is just Joe. Get, let's just get Joe locked up in a way, and then let's keep breaking you know. up. You there? Can you hear me I now? I lost you again. Oh, no, I'm, in a bunch of, I'm in a bunch of weather, bad weather. Um, I think he's going to, um, you know, I think the whole deal is just lock Joe up, get him out of here, and then leave the other fucks alone. I can almost guarantee that. Well. I really want to go on that is- stand and fucking cuss Jeff Lowe. Okay, well, let's give the prosecutor some points for maybe doing her job, and when he gets up there, um, he's going to out himself. Okay, and what's he going to say? Yeah, I, I I brought the hitman to, to Joe, and I made him pay the guy. No, that's not going to fly. Okay? It's all... It, 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 you see, we, we're looking at it from different sides, but the, the idea of the court is to bring all of this testimony 
to fruition to have one answer as to the reality of what happened. No, that we can't have all these people lying and then and just if it, you know the truth not come out somewhere. Six people see a car accident, you get six different versions, but the facts are the same. Yeah. So I got I got complete faith. Um, you know, it, it, Jeff Johnson is on there gloating that it's a big this and big that, and um, th- there's people still commenting they don't realize it. Like like this is this is this is Joe. So yeah. anyways. Yeah, all those people, if they can't see that Jeff Johnson fucking is on Joe's side, you know, they're just stupid. Well, he says he's on Joe's side. Go Team Joe. Oh, I know. That's just fucking... But the people are still following him. You'd think everybody would just start outing him. No, not everybody. Um, Okay. Uh, There's also the deposition of uh, the the niece. Her deposition's on here, 45 pages. Deposition about what? What's the um, Ashley Page Webster? That's the niece, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Never heard that name. Taken on behalf of plaintiff. For some reason, uh, Rigzano's posted that, and it's forty-five pages, and it's about. I, I don't have time to read it all. Um, hmm. And what's it regarding the civil suit? Let me punch it up. United States District Court for Oklahoma, plaintiff case number, Joe Maldonado, videotape rule 15 deposition of Ashley Page Webster taken on behalf of the plaintiff in Oklahoma City. And the cover page is plaintiff is Joseph Maldonado. Uh, Appearances for the plaintiff, Amanda Mayfield Green, Charles Brown, assistant U.S. attorney. Oklahoma City, for the defendant, William Early, Kyle Wickerberg, Oklahoma City, also present, Joseph Mal- Joseph Maldonado, Jane Eagleston, videographer, uh, hereby stipulated and agreed, and among the attorneys and respect to the parties, the position of Ashley Page Webster may be taken on behalf of the plaintiff, it is sufficiently agreed that among the attorneys, I, I don't, um, it, it doesn't say what it's about. Uh, hmm. exchange these two. It's a lot of fucking reading. Anyways, it's posted there. Let me look at the comments. Did it say Rule Eleven? Um, I don't see that anywhere. Uh. And and nobody's commented on it. I don't think anybody's taking the time to read it. <laughs> it was posted thirty-seven minutes ago. Really. So she dug that up, and then she also dug up um, Emma Falls Cause got the uh, Glowers out Glowers um, court things. So okay, Jeff Johnson says on that laugh my ass off. Star witness number two is sitting in county jail, going to transport a jailbird to testify against someone else. Yeah, he's credible. Jeff Johnson says again, answer me this. He accepted $3,000, drove to Texas to get a fake ID, bought a burner phone, mailed it to Las Vegas to cover his tracks, drove to South Carolina on his way to Tampa to kill somebody, chickened out and came back to Oklahoma. And he and he is a witness. Why isn't he in prison? And then, um, uh, what is this? Um, yeah, he got caught with uh, drugs and alcohol twice in Garvin County. Says, Who, who's Frank Glover employee? And Jeff Johnson says, Hitman number one, longtime friend and co-worker of Lowe's. Convenient, huh? Jeff Johnson said, did you read my previous reply? And then Monica says, very, I'm patiently just waiting to see what happens. Talk, tick, tock. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Just saw this. He was the first person sent who contacted the FBI. Oh. Monica Lewis says to Jeff Johnson, so he was the first person sent to contact the FBI. And Jeff Johnson says, read everything before asking questions. So he's getting mad at this person. This is the conversation going back and forth. Uh, 13 comments on nine hours ago. Jeff Johnson has a picture up that the show begin. Rigzano posts Jeff Lowe's um, warrant search in Vegas. Yeah. 
Okay, who's not getting immunity on what he did in Vegas with the Cubs? He doesn't have immunity for that, does he? No, but that's a municipal ticket. That ain't nothing. Okay, but he's okay. He, he okay, but he doesn't have blanket protection. He can do whatever he wants. No, but I mean they're gonna let him loose on all the fucking federal shit he's done through this whole investigation. You know, all when Matt federal crime. Yeah, all, when all this. All the shit that Matt said that it was under investigation, just give it time. It's just a fucking smoke screen. Matt's smoke screen. Uh, okay. Um, I can't see some comments on there. Jeff Johnson says to George Stapleton, but is the defense going to discredit the federal investigators? George Stapleton says to Jeff, no clue, but like I said... I believe Lowell will come out smelling like a rose on this, and believe me, that little shit needs to be held accountable. George Stapleton says for Jeff, as for Joe Exotic, he's going to get time for sure. Jeff Johnson says to George Stapleton, the defense is going to chew Lowe up and spit him out. The defense seems very, big letters, confident. I'm already sleeping better at night knowing that I did my part. <laughs> what the fuck did Jeff Johnson do? <laughs> George Stapleton says to Jeff, there's no doubt in my mind you've done your part, no doubt, but you and I are not the jury, and Lowe is not on trial. Now, maybe some charges against Lowe may come out of the trial, but I would not count on it, especially if Lowe is a cooperating witness for the prosecution. Jeff Johnson says a lot of people will not agree with my recent actions, but it was my decision to make. That was eight hours ago. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, George Stapleton, nine hours ago. Uh, if I read this right, Joe Exotic's defense is that Jeff Lowe set him up. Really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. It, it don't mean nothing. It's just all these people are just fucking talking. Uh, it's, you know, okay. when, when the time's right, I'm going to burst fucking Jeff Johnson's fucking bubble. I'm going to burst it fucking big time. When the time is right, I'm gonna shit on him, but make it look like I really care about him and his family. And when 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 I put on there that you know Jeff, I've been so supportive, and you know when your house caught fire and you got you know locked up for 72 hours for a psych value, and we talked about it, I was really concerned about your emotional state, you know, and you're carrying a gun and video and, and and you know when you give me permission, I'll say you know when you were tape recorded going to kill Jeff Lowe and that's gone to Sheriff Rose. I mean, you can't do this to your family. Think of your children. <laughs> He's going to fucking flip. He's going to try to phone Matt or somebody to try to figure out how I knew about that. And if someone asked me, I'll say, he called me and told me. <laughs> yeah. What if? I mean, <clears throat> what is wrong with people in this fucking world? He, he's a nothing and a fucking nobody. You know, okay, so, okay, but no one's brought up all the other charges. They're all concentrating on Alan Glower being drunk. Yeah. And, and, okay, and they're not going to discredit you. They can bring up your past. Nope, never had a USA permit. But regardless, this is what I did this day, and this is what was tape recorded, and this is what was videotaped. Isn't that right, Mr. FBI agent? Yep. There's a videotape. I'll yeah. pay you $5,000 to kill that bitch. Repeatedly. <laughs> I I did five thousand dollars. You're gonna kill that fucking bitch. <laughs> Power. He ran off my three thousand dollars. Fucking drunk motherfucker. <laughs> okay, so when Joe testifies, they're gonna say, "Did you give Alan Glower three thousand dollars to kill Carol Baskin?" What's he gonna say? No. And when he when they when they play a tape, so they're gonna say, "Joe did." Did you did you ask this FBI agent to kill Carol Baskin? He's going to say no when it's tape recorded. <laughs> overwhelming, yeah. over, overwhelming evidence for that. How and how many times did he say it? Oh fuck! And every time they're going to play it, and the FBI did yes, that was on this date. Where Joe said again that he's going to give you five thousand dollars, and that was on this date, and that was on this date, and that was on this date, and you stay the same. Yeah, it took about four four hours to go through the fucking videos. Yep. Did they count how many times he, he said that? Not just once. At least probably, I'd say, a dozen or two times at least. Okay. And he had always blamed it on, well, I'm going to sell these lion ligers. I'll have the money. And then it was like, I got lion cubs due next week. And then it was, 
spring break's right around the corner. I'll give them $10,000 in. 5000 Well, it's 10 total. Five, and when, five up front and then five when she's dead. Oh, okay. See, I was there for that, and I heard you telling me this in the spring break, and I said, and after the spring break, I said, they're still waiting to arrest him. He hasn't passed, he hasn't got the money, but they still got him on, on, on what they got him on now. Yeah, well, well, they said there's not, money doesn't have to change hands. Right, right. Yeah, so, so. you see, we're, we're listening to a Facebook post from people that don't know what you know, haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, seen, yeah, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, and and you know Jeff Johnson, you know, <clears throat> hurting himself. I feel really good about my decision. I'm going to sleep really good tonight. Well, you won't after I post the truth about you, you fucking faggot. <laughs> and when you keep phoning me, I won't answer the phone. <laughs> yeah, Jeff Johnson was saying yesterday that he's going to be at the courthouse at five a.m. and Monday is the only day he can go, but he's going to stand out front with his sign and uh, <laughs> free Joe. Oh, but are you kidding me? No, that's what he said. Oh, for f- oh man! I got the tape. I'll, I'll see what I need to do is I just need a one day when I have time, just take yeah. all these fucking tapes, piece them all yeah. together, take all the t- snippets, and just yeah. build a little fucking YouTube movie. Oh, that'd be priceless. Okay, as, as stressful as this is for you, you got nothing to fear. You don't care about the outcome. Be fair and confident. If he walks, he won't. Big deal. Who cares? But we're going to have so much fun with this. And that fucking guy coming down and knocking on your door and trying to talk to you, fuck him. Play that fucker. Play oh, him. Yeah. Play him yeah. good. Yeah, that's fuck what he needs. Yep. That's what he, he needs a fucking foot in his ass. Well, tell him to come down with some cash. I'll rob him out the back door and tell him to go fuck himself. <laughs> yeah, get his fucking credit cards and max some bitches out. Move. Time up a little while going to shopping spree. Hey, oh, something else came up today. Um, I got access to uh, Gretchen's Facebook page. They're a friend of mine here, and uh-huh. I was scrolling down. And I was scrolling down, and um, I see Timmy sitting behind the wheel of a pickup truck, and then an ostrich comes to the window. And I, I'm gonna drive by and see what they're driving, but um, I knew he never had a driver's license. I still don't think he does. But if they've gone out and bought another vehicle. It's pretty much my fucking vehicle. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I'd like to know, you know, discreetly, hey, what is what is Timmy and Gretchen driving? And if it's that black Honda, then, you know, the money's the cash is still stashed somewhere. They haven't bought the other vehicles because he can't drive. He drives an ATV around. Yeah, I talked to Jack earlier, and uh, I got to call her back because they were down at the circus at the fairgrounds, and they were like, I guess Doug was in the background arguing with the animal rights activists. They were down there protesting. So she, she said she's going to call me back. You know, they got the signs out there for the elephants, you know, and all this other shit. Well, something else I saw disturbing in the picture is Timmy has this Zap Productions where he's videotaping stuff. He he thinks he's, um because of his Joe videos, he thinks he's Martin fucking Scorsese now with a oh, no, they, camera. Yeah. Yeah. But the video equipment, it's high dollar shit. He don't have money for that unless he stole it. Yeah. So where did he, where did he get, get the money to buy that? Hmm. You probably bought it, Paul. Yeah, yeah. You, you probably got some nice. Hey, get it, and we can make a Paul Exotic TV show. <laughs> <laughs> we got the chair. <laughs> can you imagine us? Can you imagine us? Oh, you know that king chair that I posted on my Facebook page. What? The king chair that I posted, our queen chair, whatever I posted on my Facebook page. Did you post that? I thought you kept it. Didn't post it. No, no, there's a picture of a chair I saw down there on Harry Himes the other day. <clears throat> but we, oh, could, we, oh, oh. we could get a couple of those chairs and, you know, have our little uh, television show like Joe did with the green screen. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Timmy will come here and produce it for us. <laughs> you know, in all that investigation, I told Matt many times that Tim Seppi had all the tapes of Joe breaking laws, and they never fucking reached out to him. I wish you brought that up Saturday with the prosecutor. Yeah, I should have, but I, I mean, I, I mentioned it to Matt fucking a hundred million times. What the fuck is wrong with him? I don't know. Uh, in I don't Virginia, know. maybe they got a, maybe they got interviewed in Virginia and they're being quiet. 
Yeah, I, you know, I don't know. He he went real quiet, didn't he? I thought he they're pro Joe, aren't they? Gretchen and them. Well, they were pro Jeff last year when they were looking for me. Oh, okay. But they hate Joe, or Timmy still like? No, Timmy's still cool with Joe, I guess. I don't. I don't know. Uh, Jackie might know. So Timmy was uh, taking up the ass, probably too, wasn't he? Well, I've got that in one of his. Uh, oh yeah. I found out. No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, whether well, it's true or not, it, it's his his words. <clears throat> I wonder if I wonder if Travis was banging him and letting Joe watch. Well, Timmy's the one that got in trouble for partying with Travis that night. It was a month uh, after the wedding. Gretchen, Gretchen had just got there, and Joe comes in to the staff meeting in the morning, and he says, I forbid anybody to hang out with my, my, my husband. He goes, I've been married for a month, and he hasn't been home one night since we've been married because he's out partying with you people. And he's looking right at Timmy. And they're doing their dope and their ATVs and stuff. Now, now um, Travis had a room in the trailer where he brought local girls over occasionally. Yeah. So Travis was banging a lot of chicks too. Well, I don't, I don't know a lot, but I'm yeah. not sure. It's just the talk of the zoo. Who really cares? Fuck. Hope he triple wrapped it for the poor bitches. I mean, there were probably prizes. That Travis, <laughs> though, that was a fucking dumb son bitch, though. Boy. Oh, fucking stupid. No loss for, you know, that was the best thing to happen to the planet. That useless piece of shit blowing his head off. That was like, yes, natural. I mean, he would have killed. He would have killed an innocent bystander with his dumb ass. I was at the pizza yeah. restaurant one day. He just picks the gun up in the air and starts shooting it. Yep. I'm like, complete, you dumb motherfucker. Complete fucking moron. Yeah, just pulled it out I, right there at the table and starts shooting in the air. Yep. I told you the time where he's flying the drone behind me, and it was coming up the back of my head, and I turned around and pointed my gun at the drone, and <laughs> I, I was right in line with his face, and the drone went up. And I didn't follow the drawing with my gun. I kept pointing at his face. And his, oh, his shit. eyes go, his guys go, holy shit. And he fucking runs. He scurries away like he still had the fucking dick up his ass. Uh, yeah, Joe talked a lot of shit. He thought that was his backup security. <laughs> I'm like, that's the least motherfucker I worry about. I just fucking crack him on a fucking, you know. He's big, but he'll, he won't take a crack. Well, he's always stoned on something. He's got no coordination. Yeah, you fucking knock him over real easy and just go to town on him. Yep. Fucking throat punch the shit. That's fucking just crazy. Asshole. Hey, I'm trying to fucking, uh, you're going, you come through, when you, what, what highway do you come down when you, uh, when you come from, uh, Afghanistan or wherever the fuck you're at? Is it, uh, I think it's 62. It comes in the west end of Fort Worth. Okay, because I'm, I'm over here in Fort Worth now. I'm trying yeah. to get you a car somewhere right now in Fort Worth and leave you the key. So then I wouldn't want right. to go to Love Field. Because Love Field's a goddamn pain in the fucking ass. Oh, I, drove I, out, that. I drove out there tonight to try to get you the car. And they, I was just going to rent the car. He's already paid for the car. And I was going to um, just leave the key somewhere. And I yeah. couldn't find anywhere to fucking put it. You know, they, I looked around. And uh, so I'm over here on Henderson in Fort Worth. I'm going to see if I can just rent something, you know, here in Fort Worth and just at the same place just change my reservation. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Whatever is convenient for, I appreciate it. Yeah, if, 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 or, you know, I, I'll cover whatever it costs, you know, one day. So if you no, bump up the I no, just knock it off what I owe. I mean, it's whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm like one mile. Hey, I'm, I'm actually here at the budget now. I'll call you right back. Give me a minute. All right. All right, bye.